Hello everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to another episode of my Rails and Pipes pack. You guys see all the items moving through the pipes. I, I could watch this forever. I love it. So the thing has been going well. I have not had any problems. And we are up to, I'm going to say, close to seven stacks on each one of them besides the soybean. Which is double. And even though we have two full rows, so two on each side over here, we still only have... The same amount of wheat that we have the other ones so wheat doesn't seem to harvest a lot but it's fine i think that by the time the factory is actually ready to process the the meals that we want we're gonna have plenty of um items and then it's all, i mean it's all just food for me right and we're not going to use it in a culinary generator or anything like that but today i said i wanted to get started with power if you guys remember whoops uh, press on the wrong button um and I would like to go with immersive engineering windmills. Um, let me show you up here real quick first. I, I prefer the water wheels because they make more power, right? But let's mix it up a little bit. So this time we're going to go with windmills. Why are these three not growing over here again? I don't know. Some of them don't want to grow, even though this has been sitting here now for probably half an hour since I last harvested it. I just made one big field. It's a uh, 9 by 18, I think, something like that. And I just harvested a few times and I got plenty of the industrial hemp now that we're going to need for the sales. But before we get going with actually making the machines and so on, I'm going to need to make a bunch of treated wood. I'm going to just make as much as I can. How many buckets do I have left? A little bit over 18 now again. So this is it. It's a very uh, tedious process doing this every time, but it's fine. Um, it's not too bad and I only need to do this once and I'll make as much as I have creel seed now because I also want this to um, I want to use the scaffolding for For the actual towers that would put the windmills on I'm not exactly sure yet how I want to make it I don't just want to put them up in the air on like a one by one or something I would like to build it's it's probably gonna be mostly some kind of a scaffolding contraption but I'll figure that out when I get to it. First, we're going to have to make a lot of the parts. Oops. And let me just continue making this. All right. I got a little bit over two stacks of the treated wood planks. And before we get going with this, I finally want to make a pressure plate for my door. And I would like to make it from block craftery. So we're going to make some of these frame blocks as well. And then I think the recipe is just like that. Yes. You guys see it shows here frame pressure plate all. I'm going to just take one. If you put it in here again, it says mobs. So only mobs will activate it. Only items. And now it's players. So I only want players to activate this. And we're going to put this right... Ooh. Um, I'm going to have to probably... Uh, just going to break it by hand. Make this flat. Hmm. Well, let's see what this looks like. Uh, hopefully the grass will spread there again. Okay. So now if I drop an item on here or anything, nothing happens. So that's good. I only wanted to activate when a player steps on here. And that way I don't need to open a stupid door over and over again. Because I go in and out the house so often. <laughs> Alright. So um, let's go ahead and get started with some of the parts here. I got everything up here that I, I want to craft. And first we're going to need to make this forge hammer. Um, you can also make the other hammer from oh boy uh let's check here real quick what is it called this one right here from pickle tweaks but it, it takes two ingots to make a plate while with the ic2 hammer it only takes one ingot so i'm gonna go the cheaper route of course and then over here i have a bunch of copper ready i'm gonna use the uh immersive engineering metal first and then the ic2 because these are from dungeon chests um this down here thermal foundation is actually what we get back from the smeltery Right here, you guys see. Uh, and osmium from, from mechanism, because that's the only one. But let's go ahead and make these. And I'm just going to go ahead and make... Let's just make a couple. I don't know how many. And then we'll put this back in here with some scissors. And we get a bunch of strings. So I always need four. So I'm definitely going to need two more. Which one is it now? This one. And we'll see how long that lasts us for now. There we go. All right, so let's get going here, and then we'll sort. Oh, I need. Oh, I need treated um, wood first. So let's go ahead and turn all these into sticks. We're gonna need a lot. 
Actually, I can use any stick for that. It doesn't need to be treated, so I can save these. Let's get a stack out of here. Let's see if it defaults to this. Yes, okay. So we only have 20, so I'm probably going to have to make a lot more, but... Um, oh, and I also forgot, I'm going to have to cook up some clay, right? For this stuff here. Yes, I need terracotta for this and this, so better get these cooking. Do I have any clay blocks? No, clay, I actually don't have a lot. There's some here. Recipe, bam, let's make all of them. And let's just cook all of these up. Kablam, so they're ready. Um, and then I make these off camera. The LV capacitor we can make. I have, oh, I took osmium out. I thought that was lead. Do I have, oh, wait a second. Oh, I got these confused. This is actually osmium. I thought I put in lead. Do I not have any lead? Am I blind? There's some lead here. Okay. And let's go ahead and get some. Yeah, this looks like lead to me, but it's osmium. Nickel. There we go. Lead up here. Let's put a stack of this in here to get processed. So it is going to be done soon. So what did I say? Okay, so we're going to need one. I'm, I'm going to just make one LV capacitor for now, okay? I might add a few more. We'll see. And then we also need to... Oh, yeah. By the way, I have the thermal electric generator here as well. So if I'm going to make three windmills. And if, if they don't make enough power for our whole factory to keep up, then I think I'm going to add some thermal electric generators afterwards. But for today, we're just going to focus on these. And um, so I'm going to need three of them. I can only make two. Let's just make one together and then I'll make the other one off camera. So there we go. Every uh, one of the windmills here. Right there. Goes against one of them. So how do we make these here? I need uh, 24 of them. Okay. And that's only 12. All right. So I'm going to have to make more sticks. Oh man. I'm going to need a lot of this. Um, treated wood in order to make that scaffolding. So I'm going to have to see how long that's going to take. What? I must have miscounted. Let's make four more of these. Yeah, da -da, recipe. Whoop, recipe. All right, so we got three of these. And then this has... It looks like it has seven... Four, five, six, seven... Eight. Okay, so I need 24 of these sails and 24 times 5, so I need 120. Wow. Does this really only make one? So each... Oh, they take six. Okay, so I'm going to need to harvest a lot more. So let's just get these and see how many we can make with this. Only nine. So that's one. Wow. I'm going to need to harvest this a lot more. Okay. But you guys oh, I, see, I'm still used to closing this. Um, so I'm going to need to harvest a lot more. And then our terracotta should be done. And I'm going to work on a little bit of scaffolding over here. I'm not exactly sure yet where I want to put it. But I'll figure something out and then we'll see what it looks like. All right. I went up here to Y90 and I want to set one up first i'm still waiting on more hemp but i want to see how wide they are how much width do they need so hopefully the hole is in the front yes it is and if i'm lucky i'm gonna be able to place this yes very good okay and then i can already put the first sails on here you just uh actually just right click in the middle and you guys see it's speeding up and it cost eight okay so i need to make nine more of them not really sh Why does this show zero RF? What? Is this just a display error? Hmm. Not sure. We figured out. So let's see here. I'm going to use which blocks. I think I'm going to use. Let's just use the terracotta. That's easy to break. So that's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to say it's a nine by nine. 
And then I probably want to have one gap. One, two, th three, four. So right down there is where I'm going to need to put it. I don't think I can put the scaffolding against this. No, because it's it's uh, it needs support from below. So how much fall damage am I going to take from there? A lot. I don't want to risk that. So I just have to come from underneath. And... Yep, yeah, get on that scaffolding. And then I'll dress this up nicely, and I'm um, not sure. Wow, that's really high up there. But the higher it is, the, the more power I'm going to get. So, where is this at? I think right here, yes. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right there is the last one. And then I want to... I think I left one ring, yes. So then we're going to come to here. And down here, I just want to have some kind of a base. And then maybe look at like it has transformers down here or something like that. And build all of these up. I should just be able to click right there. Uh, one more. There we go. And let's go ahead and sleep the night away real quick. Yeah, apparently it's not dark enough yet. Ooh, look at that. Did I get it or do I need one more? I need one more. All right. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this and then put this up there. And then over here, uh, let's sleep this away real quick. Um, I want to put the block craftery so it looks a little bit of ramped. So I made a bunch of these here. So we're just going to put these along and then again use this basalt to cover it up. And like I said, I want to build something up and then maybe also from the sides here coming down in an angle, maybe have some support cables, you know, just like you would have in real life somewhat. And I just like the scaffolding because it looks better. And I couldn't use treated wood because I only have eight treated wood left and four sticks and it would take forever to make all of this out of treated wood. So I think we'll be fine. And back to harvesting my hemp so I can make more sales. I'm working on connecting. Why can I not reach this? Come on. Just did it on the... Oh, because I'm not in the center. That's why. Can I reach you now? Yes, right there. Okay, I'm, I'm putting up some cross cables just so this looks like it's a little bit more structural sound. It's almost night again. Unbelievable. All right, here we go. And let's just take the rest down real quick. All the sales are up there. I actually made too many because I'm a knucklehead and I don't know how to count. So this is something. And then I'm thinking of like putting a wire down here and then maybe um, change the grass right here to something like gravel. And then put a fence around it. And then we'll decorate it. Now the other problem I'm having is that I am not sure yet how I'm going to get the power down. Because the connector is on top. So I'm going to put a connector on the top and then I need to go out to the side and then back down. So what I'm thinking here is possibly, let's see, yeah, this is going to be have to be something like this here. Like I should really take my axe out, but it's fine. I'm going to make this like five or seven. Let's make it seven wide. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, so two more on this side. Yes. And then we'll just make another little platform here. Get out of here, flowers. So I would come uh, scaffolding up this way for it all to come together. And then right there, yes. And then we'll run the other stuff around here again. And so I'm going to need an inner corner there. So two inner corners and two outer corners. So two, I don't actually know how you, oh, I just did two. I don't know how you make the inner corner. The thing right there, it's three of those, okay. Perfect. So we'll put that, really? <laughs> that was odd. What are you, what's happening here? Why are you placing weird? Okay. Like that, that, that's, that's odd, but whatever. There we go. And two outer corners. And then we'll fence all this in and I'm going to check DecoCraft. If there's anything that might look 
like it is a power station. I, I know there is the transformers from immersive engineering themselves, but that's just if you want to step up or down from HV to LV and the likes. And so then here, like I said, we're going to come up. Yeah, there's no reason. I can cable these together now. Yeah, I'm going to need to come all the way. So from one more. Okay. So let's go ahead. <sighs> See, that's the other problem is I cannot put these. Con I, I got to put the connectors directly, I guess, against this. <gasps> no. Uh... Okay, let's just grab this again and look up. If you just look up, you move a lot faster, by the way. And then in the end, you just got to hold forward. So we're going to put one right there. Okay. And now I just have to... Let's use... Yeah, let's use this. Because I cannot put the scaffolding on the side. A couple more. All right. And then we'll put the regular connector... On the top of this, put one on the top of this, and then we can run this to there and this to there. Okay, it still shows zero RF, but I'm gonna say this probably just a display bug. I guess it's fine. Yeah, this this is okay running it over here like that, and then I gotta do the other same the other way, and then I'm probably gonna have one more of these relays halfway down and then we'll figure out how we want to dress this up all right so about halfway down and now i'm gonna go ahead and place the capacitor right on top and blue means input so we're gonna have to have a connector on top of this and then from there to there and it is charging okay so they are making power it just doesn't show anything on the uh, kinetic dynamos up there. Okay. I kind of like it up in the air um, for the reason that now what I can do is here set this to output orange and output orange. Hmm. I don't think I'll ever need this one. So I'm just going to leave it off for now. And then we'll put a connector here. And then right in the middle of this, uh, one, two... Oh, by the way, I took off the, the, the bottom here, the ring around them, because it I didn't like the way it looked. I like it better this way. And also, I think in, in real life, you know, when you have these these masts... Um, I mean, obviously, windmills are never on scaffolding, you know. They got these giant um, tubes. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them. But, like, if you think of, like, antenna towers or something, they're usually scaffolding or some form of metal bars all the way up and i think that if you close it off on the bottom then it would take away from the flexibility and it might actually break down here i know this is minecraft this is not realistic <laughs> but just i think it looks better that way and i just wanted to give you the reasoning so then now we can put this fella here and on the first one we're gonna stay on top of course i can't reach that um, so here we're going to put a relay just like that. I'll break this in a second and I should be able to come from here to there. Okay. So now this is our outgoing one and then where exactly we're going to need the power. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think that I would like to run it over here though somewhere and I would like to make a plate press today. Just if we need more wires and so on, I, I'd like to set that up. And I also want to put some kind of a lighting on these towers. Now, there's a couple different ones uh, from Immersive Engineering that I like. I I don't know if the balloon would look any good on this uh, construction over here. Um, and the other one, of course, the floodlights, we're probably going to use um, when we're making the glass house itself, right? So there's like two floodlight or one floodlight shining all the way across here which also stops mob spawning inside. But the other one is, there is the powered lantern right here, the thing right there. So, oh my goodness. All right, iron plates, glass stain, and this. And then like if we put like one on each of these towers, like at that height right there, 
I think that would look cool at night, even though, I mean, I sleep most nights because I don't want to have any mobs here. It's not secure. Okay, so I think that um, now we're going to go ahead and make the plate press. And oof, I don't remember. I think I need two of the treated wood scaffoldings. I need two conveyors. I need a redstone engineering block, a light engineering block, a piston. I think that's all I need. So I'm going to go ahead and make these. Um, yep, it's just a bunch of iron and more copper. The redstone one is iron, copper, and redstone. And scaffolding. I should have a little bit more creosite now, so I can make a couple of more. So I don't need to be so stingy. Why am I so low on health? I did get zapped a few times up there, so that might be why. All right, so let me go ahead and craft all this up, and then we'll set up our plate press. Uh, I, I would really like to not have it out in the dirt, but I'm not sure where to put it. So maybe for now, I'm just going to place it close to over there um, so I can make plates and wires and so easier. And then once we have our food factory, we're going to move it into it so like somewhere off the side. I'm, I'm not going to have many machines here outside of whatever I need for food processing. That is going to be for our next base. That's going to be like our processing, uh, crafting, rails, and so on. I think that's good enough for now. All right, check it out. I made a little bit of uh, a building in the front. Uh, ran all the iron bars around. It cost me a little bit over a stack of iron ingots, but it's fine. We can get lots of iron easily. And I put a, a dark oak slab up there. I just wanted to cap it off. It looked a little bit, I don't know, naked. And just a very simple building. And then I got a bunch of Dickers craft stuff together. And we're gonna put this in here. Um, hmm. Actually, let's check here for a quick. I had to start using this bag. Let's just use one of them. And can I put you right here in the middle? Yes. Okay, so there's some light in here, so we don't have anything spawning. And then let's go ahead and see if we can dress this up. So like a calendar, we'll put here. You know, it's a little bit of an, an office here for if somebody needs to come here and work. Yeah, that works right there. I made a retro computer. Because one of these stations probably wouldn't have a very good computer. Uh, okay. I guess we'll put it right there. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, glass panes are killing me. Ah, that sucks. Alright, we won't have a computer then. I guess they don't need a computer here. So it's just going to have a writing desk. That's fine. I don't want to mess with that. And then a little bit of an office chair. Hey, do you not fit in here? Really? In the middle of the room? Why can I not even put it here? How much room do you need? Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I guess we'll put it right here. I mean, I'm not going to go through this house very often, but it's still inconvenient. And the other stuff we're going to put outside. So what I was thinking here is just to dress this up a little bit. Oh, this is only too wide. Well, this one over here is more. Now, you know what? Let's just put one over here. So what I made here is these factory vents just like that i want to have like a little bit of a transformer looking thing and i couldn't find anything in deco craft and then maybe we'll put two fans here so i'll need a couple of more two more of those which we're going to use this and that is that right there like this i mean we could go crazy with uh, little tiles and so on but not everything needs to be crazy. You can trick the mind into having something looks like something else easy and then like cap it off with this. Yeah, see, it looks like there's something happening here. And so on, and I'll put some torches on the ground here just so it's a little brighter. And that is it. So I'm gonna use this when I hate the chair, but like again, I barely ever gonna need to come through here and that is fine. And right here, I wanted to put a, like a trash can, a trash bin. And then I also wanted to have for the workers a little bit of a picnic area so they can have their lunch out here, right? So let's put it right there. So there's one and then I think, okay, right there. 
and then did this. Oh, I just did it the opposite. What? Oh, this is the middle. My bad. Give me that. So let's start with the middle, I guess. There. Well, okay, whatever. I, I don't know why these two don't line up, but it doesn't matter. It's a picnic table. See, so they can have their lunch over here, and it's a little bit of a decoration in the area. And then last but not least, I figured we're going to put a fire hydrant somewhere. You know, in case there's a problem. <laughs> Just like that. Let me go ahead and put this back in here, suck it up, and break it, and put it back in my bag. All right there. Kablam. And then the rest of this goes into here. Um... Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make the plate press stuff. And I think we're just going to put this, for, like I said, for right now, right here. Just so I can use it. And then we're going to move it into the factory when it's done. Or maybe just move it over to to the other factory. I, I'm not sure yet. I guess the other thing I need to figure out is... Let's do this and this and that. Let's figure this out real quick. I think 16 blocks is the max you can go. So these workers are going to sit right underneath the power line, which is okay. Let's just put the first one here. Let's see if we can get to it. And usually you can climb up on these, right? Yes. Not on this one. So we're going to need... That right there and for the for now I'm keeping them on top I don't see any reason to hang them off from the side and then we can go ahead and connect this and then I actually don't need to go inside there anymore blam okay good so we're all done with the inside now we'll set up the plate press okay I just needed two more steel so I can make the plates that we're gonna need two of them but first, we're going to need to make the engineer's workbench. We don't have one of those yet. And these are the parts down here for the plate press. Now, I'm not really sure where we're going to put this. Let's just put it here for now. All right there. Oh, did I get this ready? I don't know. No, I did not. Okay, I got the... Right there, I got the sticks ready. We need the engineer's wire cutters as well. And yes, then we'll need to make plates out of the steel. Oh, no. I cannot make steel plates this way. Okay, let's see how I can make those. I did not. Oh, so I'm going to need 20. Or I make a cast. And then it would be cheaper. I think I'm going to do that. The plate cast. I just put any plate in there. So I'm going to need to get two or gold ore. Let's get one gold ore. And I'm just going to make any plate. Let's just make an iron. And I'll go ahead and make the plate cast and then pour the steel because I don't want to wait for 10 more steel. It takes so long to make that. So I needed to make one extra plate uh, steel. So I needed another steel, which is no problem. I put in 20 now. So it's just going to cook this up. And I need to make a um, this, this thing right here, a blueprint. And this should be the metal press molds. Yes. So we need this one as well because that one goes into here. And then five of this with the wire cutters. And then we can select which one of these we want. Now the presses I want is definitely the plate. I'm only going to make two for today. The other ones we can make when we need them. And the wires because it's going to save me a lot of materials. And plates, it's just I don't need to use the hammer or the smeltery. You know, the machine is going to make this for us. Can I leave this in here? Yes, I can. Okay. So over here, um, can I actually put this in here? I could for now, but that is okay. This thing just, I don't know, guys. I, I guess I'm just gonna forget about having the office here for now. We can leave the calendar. Maybe put that over here so it's a little bit out of the way. Okay, so let's set it up right here. Why not? So it's in the building. So we're going to need two of these. And then I think underneath, if I remember this right, this is the redstone. 
And then here we're gonna have the piston and we need the engineering's hammer. Oh, to do. Okay, I don't see my hammer. Did I put it in here? Yes. And with that, we can. What? There we go. Wrench it so it's facing downwards. And then we'll put this guy above. And then we just need two of these conveyors. By the way, I crafted them with leather because I don't have rubber or plastic yet. But you can craft them with leather like this. And then I think. No, I need to click down here, maybe up there. Okay, maybe I have these two wrong. Or does this take a steel scaffolding? I don't think it does. So I'm going to need to make this book if I don't have it. I'm going to check the bookcase real quick. I don't think I have that book. Let's see, what do we have in here? No. And then the only other ones, those are enchanting books. Dynamics and the one probe. Okay, I'm going to have to make the immersive engineering book. Um, book? No. Manual? Yes, there we go. Engineer's manual. It's a lever and a book. I don't have any, but I do have books in here. And do I have a lever? I do as well. Good. So let's check this out real quick. I cannot remember how to make this. Uh, simple machines. What is this not under simple machines? Seriously? Construction. I probably missed it, didn't I? Heavy machinery. Metal press. Yes, it takes steel scaffoldings. Okay, so I had it right, but that. Um, and the steel scaffolding. It's going to be three. So that's going to be four. I need seven ingots. Let's see if I'm lucky and it has made seven by now. I doubt it. Six. Oh man, I wonder. It's going to be flipping over any second. But let's take this out real quick and make our iron bars. Oh, I only need. No, no, I got enough. I forgot. This makes more than just one. There we go. All right. So we got six of them. Good. And let's go ahead and fix that. I don't know why I thought... Hmm, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I keep remembering that this used to be treated wood, but it's fine. We got it. And then I just gotta get the wire in from the top, which is not gonna be that nice looking. But maybe I can figure something out. And now... Here. What? Click the piston with an engineer's hammer. Wait, did I not... Is it a sticky piston? I think that looks like a sticky piston. No, regular piston. Hmm. Oh, it's a heavy engineering block. You gotta be kidding me. I get everything wrong. Okay, so I gotta make the heavy one. Sorry about that. Alright, one more thing. I wanna make here. My inventory is so full. Okay, so I made the other uh, blueprint here, by the way, for the components, but I didn't use steel. I did this recipe here with a copper ingot, aluminum ingot, and an iron ingot. So I didn't need to wait for more steel. And yes, let's see. I think I have everything. Okay, Electrum I got from dungeon chests, but we could also easily make it. There we go. We finally have it. And this uh, drying rack is going to be to hold whatever mold we're not currently using. So let's say we're going to put that right there for now. And let's just put one of them here. Bam. So there we go. So now I can put this up there. And you better form now. Kablam. All right, good. So right here, I need to make a hole. Okay. Um. Let's get some scaffolding. Blam. Ow. Stupid electricity. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so I can come from this one directly to here. Um, okay, yes. This is... Perfect. I can use this. 
And then please tell me I have another one of those. No, I don't. All right, so that's fine. We're just going to put one against it right now. Or right there. And can I... You know what? Let's just come from here. It's going to shock me. To there. All right. And then we can put uh, the nipple on top. Perfect. I need another wire. One, two, uh, right there. All right, it's powered. Very nice. So now what we can do here is, for example, put the plate cast and let's just throw some iron on there. It gets sucked up by the conveyor, gets pressed and done. And then it's just going to sit over here until I walk up and get it. Very nice. I'm happy we got this done as well. I'm probably going to use it mostly for wires in the beginning because for now I'm just going to use up this hammer until it's gone, right? But in order to make wires, if you guys remember um, usage, um, actually it would be easier this way. Usage, no, recipe. Um, you make one out of one, right? But if I do recipe on... Let's just check here real quick. Um, let's just throw... Get this out of here. Put this on here. I think we're getting more, if I'm not mistaken. I think we're getting two wires this way. Yes, you guys see? So I get double the, the amount of wires by using this here. And, uh, well, we got a hole in the ceiling, but there's nothing I can do. Sweet! We got power, we got our plate press. I'm, I'm okay, I'm pleased with this. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more of these bushes like over here I left them that they were there I didn't break them down and I like it how this is you know you see that often that shrubbery and so on grows around these these power stations because well there's nobody walking around and so on because it's dangerous and I want to probably do the same along over here and around the corner just so it's a little bit nicer maybe put some trees behind it to get more backdrop but that is it for today um I got everything done we wanted and then I hope now next episode we can set up machines for the sugarcane and all the trees because now we have power um we're gonna need power to um operate those and love it love the pipes anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and i'll talk to you in the next one take care stay safe and bye bye